Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, whomever, wherever you are on this big rock. This is Dr. Cherry from the Arid Zone. Are you ready for another educational, challenging uh, newsletter and video? I hope you are, because we're going to have fun. As always, let me bring the screen online, and there you are. Screen is right there in front of you. There goes the title. Once in a lifetime comet sighting. A special celestial message to the world. You know, there is so many people who are doubting my UFO predictive legacy. So I just love to give, uh, um, put the green where the mouth is, put it this way, and give them endless, endless proof of my prediction. So let's get going here. All right. Um, first of all, what is your natal UCI, which stands for Unique Celestial Identity, designed to understand, to follow, and to eventually accept? Astrophysics or astrology? So you already said if your UCI is healthy, you're going to be rational, practical, critical, down to earth, agnostic, skeptic. You're going to be an educated person. All right. Now, if your UCI is much more advanced, then you're going to be intuitive, spiritual, creative. You're going to kind of vibrate at my cosmic speed, and you're going to understand my far-fetched language. All right. Now, the rational or science or the divine perceived by the third eye of a cosmic conscious human being, that would be me, who knows God speaks his will through the stars. So the rational or science or the divine, do your deal. Now, we explain that. And as a comet has always been a very strong sign of what is to come and well understood by wise men, if you think I'm one of those, then you better pay attention. Common sense dictates. All right, now, life is quite weird. And to this day, I'm not joking, though. I can only wonder why I ended up marrying Brigitte, my ex-wife, for, what, uh, 13, 14 years? And she is a direct descendant of the famous English astronomer, mathematician, and physicist that everybody knows, Edmond Halley. And she was quite proud of her legacy, I recall. She was always telling me that. So imagine that, me, a spiritualist, an astrologer, condemning astronomers, because astronomers would not be um, alive. They wouldn't have a job. In fact, astronomy would not exist if it was not for the clay tablet uh, of um, the Sumerian that was stolen long time ago by those who thought themselves better than God and to mathematically predict the correct time of an eclipse. And that's where things change. That's where the scientific world challenge gods. Oh, we know better. We are better than you. And then stop to uh, follow, eat, understand, and use the cosmic code. Or is uh, is will that is always you know, sent to you through the sign, which I translate for you. So. Remember, I love science. There's no denying that, okay? It's wonderful. The achievement of those guys is simply extraordinary, okay? And I, I do, like you do, I, I do like to watch of all these pictures um, in the, uh, uh, that are coming endlessly, okay? So what I'm upset and what I'm fighting for uh, is the truth, and most of all, the egocentric attitude of educated idiot, hothead, born like Neil Disgrace, who were forbidden the access to the divine by God himself. Eh, maybe, maybe if he reads this newsletter, his attitude will change. Uh, but one thing is sure. They will never, ever apologize for being wrong about Pluto and qualifying and still qualifying this planet, hard, solid rock hanging out there, okay, where the reptilians reside. They still recognize this as 
a dwarf planet. Planet is a planet. It's a rock. Hello, Mr. Disgrace. All right. Now, you see, if you read that, let me tell you a story. When I was 13, I wrote the dub dealer in Ireland. Right there. You stop right there. Never, ever forget that there is always, always an element of truth in any jokes that someone is saying. No, no, I prove it to you. If you click here, okay, you can read all sorts of stuff. You can click also since he is a Libra in the sign of Libra. And as a rule, Libra are, uh, you know, have a tendency to love the Nirvana. So very deceptive in some ways. So he's a born pothead. He's an educated idiot. So learn more about his on a UCI by clicking on the sign of Libra. Now, don't take me or don't take this as an offense if you're a Libra. There's billions of Libras on planet Earth. Many of them are my friends and they are very smart, but they are educated idiots and it is a fairly good example. All right, now, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. That's what he says. Now, what I said is the good thing about astrology is that it's not a religion you believe in. It's a true divine science, whether or not you believe it or not. So since it is not a religion, you got to study. Okay. But the problem is those guys won't even get close to studying anything that is remotely representing astrology because they have to hide the fact that without astrology, there would be no astronomy with, uh, because astrology is a much, much older science. All right. Now, you probably know, you know, he made the news because of sexual misconduct. Okay. Um, and then there is a lot of truth in him behaving that way. And I'm going to explain it to you in a second. But since he is the head of the Hayden Planetarium, Tarnishing the image of the well-organized, supremely wealthy scientific community, Tyson's name and conduct had to be cleared of any sexual misconduct charges. But let me tell you, remember what I always say, uh, the stars don't lie. He was born in Libra, so you could click in here to read about Libra, and hopefully you are the smart Libra, not the educated idiots, okay? And he was born with an Aries dragon steel, Aries the worst of the worst you can get of the sign of Aries is when it's on the tail because it's ruled by Mars, the Lord of War, which makes him very aggressive, not only mentally, but physically with women and accident prone to the head, like Nancy and Paul Palacis, okay? Which were born with the tail of the dragon in Aries. Aries was the head, someone come with a hammer and break his head. So there is also an element of violent death when you're born with this dragon, if you are not cosmic conscious. If you have this dragon, dragon, the moon, the sun, the rising, the natal hidden dragon in Aries, head or tail for that matter, like me, I have the same dragon, but I got a head, I don't have the tail, so I'm protected, I'm a leader of the mind, so so much more to learn, you want to know what happened to Nancy and Paul and other people born with the Aries tail, when well, click on the link, but remember he is a wild, wild subject, very competitive, strongly egocentric, and he thinks he knows better than Dr. Cherry, when he does not, He's eight years younger than me. So I'm eight years ahead of him on a life, on a life totally extraordinary that involves UFOs. And I don't even know if he believes in UFO. I don't want to go there because to me, there is no belief. It's not a religion. It's like astrology. Okay. You got to go through it or study it to realize it's a real manifesto. It is not a product of my imagination, my friend. So be ready for worse or a tarnishing news coming from him within the next few months, okay? Anything from health to an accident is on the way for Mr. Disgrace. Now, maybe you should realize that there is more to divine astrology than what his five rational, limited, human-educated senses can assimilate and put his dirty hands on my 2023 Most of the Dragon forecast. You've been warned, Mr. Disgrace. Be ready, because when that comes to pass, okay, I'll be there to refresh your memory. Okay, what will the once-in-a-lifetime comet bring to the world? That's where it's going to get interesting. Okay. Um, astronomer discovers a new planet 
just in time for its closest approach to Earth in early 2023. However, after this encounter, Comet C2022E3 won't be coming by Earth for a very long time. All right. Now, while we are all enjoying absolutely wonderful pictures of the universe, astronomers seem also to discover a new planet or a black hole or God knows what quite often. Have you noticed that yet, my friend? I've got to do that. Let me explain. This being said, remember our infantile scientific community, particularly NASA, okay, wasting billions trying to convince you that one day they will put a man on Mars. Okay, you know how I feel about that. You heard me before, okay? May sound redundant, but a lot of people have signed up to my channel, so they don't know who I am and what I do. That's why I'm redundant. Repetition is a must anyway. So they must, NASA, all the scientists, keep you entertained with phenomenal pictures and celestial news. And again, that is absolutely wonderful. I'm the first one to enjoy those pictures. I love science. Okay. But I'm a different type of scientist. Yes, we understand that. Yet the reality is after billions of dollars spent on the race to the moon, you must realize that the covered distance by human physically is about 226,000 miles. Wait a minute. The space station is 250 miles above Earth. Okay. But that means uh, I can drive to San Diego and half away, I'll be about 250 miles. Yes. Well, give and take. And knowing Mars is about 140 million miles from Earth at this closest point, we have a long way to go. Thus, don't be fooled by science. No man will ever set foot on a dead planet. All that they are doing is to amuse you, stimulate you, because they have bills to pay, insurance to pay, gas to pay, food to pay, college tuition to pay for their kids. They are the private select. They are too intelligent to do a job like you and me. They are the kids, the legacy of those who, you know, in 1945, the build the first atomic bomb. So the kids of the kids of the kids is the cream of NASA. They are better than you. They don't want work like you and I. They're too smart. Oh my God. No, no, no. We have NASA. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like a clan. It's like a clan. Okay. I'm sure you understand that. And in God forbidden, okay, with the space of our uh, brothers, the, the Draconis, when we go on Mars, um, those guys uh, will not invite you to go there because you're not educated enough. You have no meaning to them, okay? All right, so, okay, so let us let me explain another thing here. Since we already are on Mars and past Mars, NASA's enormous financial resources, that is the donation, your taxes, God knows what, they have so many various ways to get to your wallet. It's ridiculous. Now, should be applied to be a more sophisticated technology instead. Okay, we understand that because a robot's not going to have, uh, not going to be constipated. It won't need to go out uh, um, if it needs to uh, take a, you know what I'm saying? All right, so <laughs> use logic. Technology can live forever. Oh, sort of. Now, they could use also a good chunk of this money, a lot of it is stolen, and you don't know, to save planet Earth, which is showing some serious sign of distress. Because again, we have only one spaceship. Our blue planet is priceless, okay? And it's suffering. So I think some of the money should be there for uh, replanting those forests and doing a good job in uh, trying to eliminate fossil, a new uh, form of uh, uh, fuel. All right, now, in science, we'll do that one day. All right, but what upset me the most is the real purpose of God's creation. It's not just for astonishing the human eyes and to make you feel absolutely wonderful traveling the universe through the eye of a majestuous telescope hanging over there, okay? Now, there is more to it. There are much deeper spiritual reasons astronomers cannot yet comprehend or even accept. Here we go. 
God created the stars and the heavens for more than the sacred beauty. He gave them to us for interpretation so that we may live a safer, more productive life. You know my philosophy. Now, thus, I have to wait to know the exact date of this event because they don't know yet if it's going to be a beginning, the end of February, whatever it is. So read the article. And the full explanation of my vision and what will transpire soon after human sees this comet will be posted on the Cosmic Code private website. Since comets symbolically represent big change in disappeared civilization and or death and destruction in a large scale, my finding may be quite extraordinary. Okay, especially when you're going to have the exact timing. I will also definitely uh, talk about the political world because it will affect the political world. So be ready for interesting news. And as you all know, as of 1123, only my VIPs and my Patreon supporters do get my full educational newsletter, Critical Warning, SOS Daily Window, Daily Guidance, and many, many of our personal forecasts on the private Cosmic Code website. So you see those two links here? Click, click. You're going to read everything. Now, let's look. Former Trump org CFO is headed to jail or prison, whatever. Remember, if you are a reader of mind and you follow me for a long time, you must recall this specific sentence right here that I wrote countless times over the years. No one... Directly or indirectly involved is the U.S. capital invasion will escape the 2022-2023 Scorpius karma. This includes President Trump himself, his family, and the former Trump or CFCFO, his supporting minion, Tucker, Singing, Anity, Alex John, Rogan Lindsay, Graham Taylor Green, Coast to Coast, the Ham Guest, and Austin, and many members of the former President Reptilius Infected Aggressive Base, which many of them already are rotten in jail. That is a forecast. Now, leave me alone again. Again, don't kill the Missanji. I don't care if you like Trump or if you don't. I don't care if you like the Clinton, Obama, Biden. I don't give a D. D, 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 D. All right. What I'm trying to say, I'm an astrologer. What I do is read the future, make predictions. So, leave your extreme emotional drive if you like or don't like a president outside, if you're ready for my work, take it as is. Predictions, astrological predictions. Make sense? Remember, knowledge is power. Ignorance is evil. And I always tell you, like I'm going to tell Mr. Neil Disgrace, let him ignore my warning and be cursed by the eternal rite of the, rite of the cosmic code universal ceremonies. For a cosmic god does not speak to fools. And Tyson don't believe not only in UFO or astrology, but he doesn't believe in God either. All right. Become a part of my spiritual movement. Become a VIP. All Patreon and VIP supports me. They get the good stuff. And I think it's worth it to show that you care about me, my work, my wife, okay, my dedication, and get to learn things that you ain't going to get nowhere, and you know it. And that's why you're here, and that's why you're coming back. All right. Anything else? Let me take care of you. Remember, I have my course coming up very, very soon. You want to read about COVID vaccine. If you're for or against it, click on it. Learn a few things about that. Read all the information about my course, see what people said about my work, and then let's go from there to um, delegate God Cosmic Design and Jesus Cosmic Ministry, which is nothing else than divine astrology, you know, my philosophy. I am happy because each time I give something, it's like I am putting something into the universe and it's coming back. So there is some really good news that I'm receiving because of the good deed that I good to you, that I do for you every day or whenever I can. All right. So before I get to enjoy myself, because I'm a boat captain uh, in Florida on my boat, uh, maybe you want to be uh, looking for a reading while you can. Okay. All right. Until then, uh, 
be ready because these comets have some serious, 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 serious vision that I already have that I'm going to start to collect and put on the Cosmic Code private website. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.